Hello friends, welcome to PySpark video tutorials. In this ongoing uh, continuous real-time scenario based videos, today I am going to give you one of the real-time scenario is how to read nested folders or you can say hierarchical folder structure files and how to read those files and how to create a data frame. And normally whenever you create a data frame, what will happen? Consider you have a, some customer data or maybe some other table data. So the table data, if you have a multiple files, like will be there in a same folder like file one and same folder will have a file two, same folder will have a file three like this. So if you have a different files in the same folder, which we can use a Spark Read API, Spark Read API, that is Spark dot read data CSV if it is CSV file or any other file format. So directly we can specify that customer location and then it will read all files available in that directory. But some requirements, what will happen? You will get uh, files in different folder, like uh, consider the same customer will have some files, then you will have some files under another folder, which is consider uh, 2022 year data. 20, 22 year data in this folder. Okay, that is called subfolders. Or maybe 2021 20, some data files in another subfolder. Like hierarchical folder structure. If you have a hierarchical folder structure and if you want to read all files, then direct Spark Read API it won't support then how to read that, so that we will discuss now. So for that, what I'll do, I will create one data file first. Uh, I'll create one data file, which contains some data. Like it's a customer, customer ID, name, location. I'll create some one, ID two, ID three, ID four. So I'm going to create one data file, the same data file, consider just I will save in some location. Data, customer data, one dot CSV. Okay, let's upload this file and create a data frame. I'll create one uh, notebook, how to read nested folder structure data files files per this time creating a notebook so just upload a file just i will upload data file so here what i'll do i'll create one folder called customers inside that i'll upload that file which is there in my desktop This is a customer one data file. So create a data frame. This way which we can create a data frame and uh, even we can verify the data. So these are our six records are there. This data is available. So what I'll do, I'll upload a file again. I'll upload file again with the same folders. So customers. Then I'll upload the same file again. So whenever you upload a same file, it will rename internally. If file is already available, it will rename internally. You see this. Okay. Now, if you read it again, so six plus six total, you should get a 12 records. Six plus six total 12 records. If you go with a directory path, if you're not giving a file name, if you give only directory path, so two files are there in this location. Two files are there. Even you can verify in uh, utility, file system utility. So here we should get uh, two files. Then you should read those two files. Then we should get the data. So six plus six, 12 records we should get. So we are getting 12 records. Next, what I'll do, 
Inside that, I'll create another folder, then upload the data. Inside this customers 2022 folder, I will create, then I will upload the data. Same file. Now, just I'll give a same folder, just I'll give the same folder. And only six plus six, those two files it is reading. Third file, which is there on the, in this subfolder 2022, there is another file. Total three files are there. So total three files are there. So I want to read file from this location. Even if you have some another subfolder, even if you have some another subfolders, 2021. Okay. Now, here uh, another file is there. So total four files are there, but it is not reading nested folders. It is reading only which is available in current folder, which is available in current. So 12 regards you are getting you see this. So how to read those other nested folder, other nested folders. So PySpark is supporting one of the option called recursive file lookup. Recursive file lookup. So when you are looking for multiple files, when you are looking for multiple files in the same folder, you will get this is a normal. This is normal. But what I'm having, I'm having one folder within that another folder. I'm having one folder within that another folder. So if you have one folder within that another folder, which directly you won't get that, which directly you won't get that. Then how to get multiple subfolders data in PySpark. So we have another option. We need to use another option. That option is recursive file lookup. Recursive file. So we need to mention this parameter true. Then what will happen? It will read all data. It will read all data from other subfolders as well. Now you see 24 total two plus two, four files are there, four into six records, 24. No, no, I want to know file name with the location as well. Even this is also one of the scenario. This is also one of the scenario. So how to get a file name with the location? So which you can add another column using a with column that is file name. And then you can use the input underscore file underscore name function so this function we need to import from pyspark.sql.functions import input underscore file underscore name function. So what will happen? It will add a new column. That new column is a file name with a location. So this is a customer one. And this six records are another data file. This records are six records are in 2021 folder. This six records are in this folder. So we are able to read nested files even if it is available in nested folder structure. That is called hierarchical folder structure. Nested folder structure, or you can say hierarchical folder structure, one folder within that another folder, this way which we can use. So that option is called a recursive file lookup option, which we need to specify through while reading data from hierarchical folder structure. So this way which we can achieve these kind of requirements. Thank you for watching my videos. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe my channel. And the same notebook will be available in my GitHub. You can find my GitHub account, which is there, uh, uh, which is one of the repository that is Ravi underscore ADB, ADF, Azure ADB, ADF. There you can find the Azure real-time scenarios. In this folder, you can find this. If you don't have a GitHub account, try to register using your Gmail ID. It's free. You can register uh, GitHub and you'll, you can upload any documents. You can upload your code. And in the future, maybe you can expect this is one of the common uh, for developers. So thank you for watching my videos. See you in another video. Have a good day.